Hi guys, it's Mino, welcome back. Today we are going to be re-pouring on this 24 by 36 canvas. I did this a week or so ago and it's just, it's not as, it's not what I wanted. So we're gonna pour on top of it because it's a perfectly good canvas. Uh, the back is taped and I do have push pins in it. So we're just gonna reuse it. Now it's completely dry. Don't do it like the next day. You wanna make sure this is completely dry at least a couple of weeks. So ah, let me show you these colors today because this is a really, really cool palette. The first one we're using is by Folk Art. This is multi-surface paint. This is Malachite. Okay, so that's this one over here. Beautiful, dark green color, metallic, sparkly, sort of, I can see it's going to look really, really cool with black. So this is kind of, I've mixed it sort of thick, mound on a mound. My pouring medium is Liquitex gloss medium and varnish and paint and the Floetrol. Okay, a word about the gloss medium and varnish. They have changed the name to just professional gloss medium. It's still the same stuff. It still has the varnish in it, but the label is a little different. It's like a kind of a green color, light green color now, and it says professional gloss medium. So same stuff, different name, different label. Okay, so that's the Malachite. The next one we have is Artist's Loft in light olive green. And to this, I have added a dollop of my 24 karat gold, just to lighten it up a little bit and give it some sparkle. Okay, so that's the light olive green by Liquitex Basics. Did I say Artist Loft before? Liquitex Basics, sorry. Okay, so then we have, <laughs> let's move, let's see if I got all the, oh, one more Artist Loft. Okay, this one is Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue, one of my favorite, favorite colors. This is such an amazing paint, really just a beautiful, if you're starting out and you're looking for which colors to get, I would definitely put this one on my list. Metallic Cobalt Blue from Artist Loft. Amazing stuff. Okay, the next one is Artist Loft Silver. Nice and creamy, leaving a mound on a mound on a mound. Okay, uh, this one is also Artist Loft. This is Metallic Black. So it's not the flow acrylic black. This one is metallic black. It's in one of these tubes like that. Okay. There we go. All right. And I have one more cup of, of the Artist Loft black where I added a little bit of that to it to be my flow extender. All right. Next one is Arteza. This one is dark green. We used this one in... It was the... Soaring. <laughs> With the dragon. Very cool color and it dried nice and dark, which I'm really happy about. So I think this is gonna do beautiful things with the malachite and the black. No, pretty, pretty, pretty. Uh, what else? Okay, Arteza's Pistachio, my baby. This is such a cool color too, because it really, it dries very shimmery, but it's not completely greenish when it's dry. It almost looks silver or white or, I don't know, pearly, it's very cool. Okay, this one is new for me. This one is Arteza's Cactus, Cactus Green in their pearl series. Excited about this one. I love cactus. I'm a succulent person, so this is just my, oh. Okay. Decor Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. This one is a little bit thicker than everything else. The silver is also a little bit thicker than everything else. Do you want to keep your metallics thicker? Otherwise they're going to blend in and you won't see them anymore. Okay. So did we get everything? We got the gold cactus green, the pistachio, the light olive green, metallic black, dark green, oh, Liquitex Basics Cadmium Yellow Deep. This is also left over from that Reflections pour. And I think I added just a dollop of satin enamels and pure white in there to lighten it up for that one. That's the leftovers. Okay, so you'll notice my cups are not all super full because some of these are leftovers and the ones that I mixed up today, I have thin Floetrol. So as you saw in my, how I mix my paint for 2020 video, if your Floetrol is thin, Add it slowly and incrementally, a little bit at a time, until you get the consistency as you want. So in this case, I usually like to have paint up to this line, but the flow draw was a little thinner, and if I had added more than this, it would have thinned it out and my paint would have been too thin for what I wanted to do. So instead of having a full cup, I have a little bit less than a full cup, but that's okay because it's still the consistency that I want. So, all right, let's get started and layer a cup. I'm very excited about these colors, especially that malachite. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of black in the center. This is a 24 by 36 inch canvas, so we need 31 ounces of paint for that. So that's one full cup of this plus another 10 ounces maybe. And we might even use less than that. Okay, so we've got our black. I'm gonna put a little bit of gold in the center. Just a small amount. Okay, let's get into the malachite. I'm excited about this one. Kind of a thicker layer of that. And I'm gonna put some more of the metallic black. Oh God, that's so pretty. Put some metallic black in there. And now we're gonna come in with the deep green. Some of my baby, my pistachio. So I'm layering the cup with contrast. I'm keeping contrast in mind. Light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. You don't want to put two mid blues, like I wouldn't put these two right next to each other because they're just going to blend together and you're never going to see either one of them. But if you put black in the middle of that, now all of a sudden they both pop. So contrast, contrast, always contrast. Okay, so we have the pistachio. We have deep green on the other side. Okay, let's come in with some more malachite. And then I want to actually use some of my metallic cobalt. Oh, you know, I didn't use that one. I will use it later. Okay. So some metallic cobalt in there. I'm going to put a layer of silver in on top of that. And let's go back to the deep green. I'm going to use some of that olive. some black on top of that and some of the cactus color oh, that's so pretty here we're gonna come back to our deep green and some gold is that the first gold that's the second layer <laughs> okay we're gonna come back to our metallic cobalt again I didn't use the yellow, did I? That's okay. Um, let's go pistachio. And another layer of deep green. And the malachite again. And I'm gonna put some black on top. And the wind has started blowing. Hello, Gail. <laughs> okay, so I put black on the end because I'm going to be pouring into a puddle of black. Actually, I might pour into a puddle of green first, or gold first. All right, let's move these out of the way a little bit. Make sure there's no cat hair on there. <laughs> okay, uh, what do we want to do? I think I want to do three pours, maybe. I'm gonna pour some gold. Okay. So the reason that we want the gold there underneath is because as, if you watch the video, probably this one, it will happen too. As the I'm pouring it, you'll see it start to spread. And as it spreads, the first thing around it is a gold ring. And then as the puddle spreads and gets bigger, as I pour it, it rolls over that gold. So that, when it gets stretched out, the gold is gonna pop up as little cute cells. So, are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I am indeed. Okay, let's do this.
So I'm gonna turn the canvas around so it can spread that way instead of up. There's a lot of really pretty lines in there. That's gonna be really cool. Okay, so let's keep going. Layer another cup. So there's some black and gold still on the bottom there. So let's put some black in there. And a little bit of, let's go a little bit of silver this time. All right, so we're gonna come in with some of that deep green from Arteza again. And some of our malachite. That's really beautiful, I'm gonna get some more of that. I wanna put some pistachio on top of that now. So you notice we have the deep green on the outside, which is the darker, then the malachite, which is the mid-tone, and then the pistachio, which is the light one. So let's come in with some, I don't know. Hmm. All right, let's put some metallic cobalt on the other side of that pistachio. So we have the pistachio in there, then the metallic cobalt. Now I'm gonna come in, so we're gonna put a little bit of black in there now. And some gold. I think we're probably at our 10 ounce mark, but I'm probably gonna pour this into two, two pours. So I'm gonna put a little bit more dark green. And some more of the malachite. And then some pistachio again. Put some black, actually, I'm gonna put some cobalt in first and then some some black on the end okay so we're probably going to do two more so I'm going to do one over here first and then we'll probably do one over here too okay you ready okay let's do that one first here we go going to be smaller. So I think I'm going to stop right about there. Okay. Now we're going to pour the other part of this cup in here. So, let's check our black. So this one is thinner. I put more Floetrol in it. So it's a little bit of water in it. So this is a flow extender. It's the same thing as a base coat, except I'm pouring it around my pores instead of underneath it. And the purpose of this is to get your paint to flow easier, to slide around easier. Okay. And you want this to be a thinner consistency than what you poured on the canvas. All right. So let's pour this around.
Okay, now the only thing that I'm concerned about is right in here where there's a large space and there's a lot of black. And it looks cool now, but what will happen is as we stretch it out, we're gonna end up with this really big black space in the center, which I'm not sure I want. So I'm just gonna take what's in my cup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start off the edge. And that's just kind of break up that black a little bit. So as it moves and tilts and stuff, it's not quite so solid. Okay. All right, that's good. Let's torch it. Let's tilt this and let's see what happens. This is really pretty. I just want to be at the center with my stick just a tiny bit before we start moving it around. That's better. Okay. Because whatever is on here now is just going to get bigger. So if you have small things like that that you can fix, do it before you start stretching. Okay, um, let's go down that way first. Is that better? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're just gonna go right to that edge. And we may not even go over. center a little bit to open this up. Now we're going to go off that side down there. Next. Nice and slow. See our flow extender is moving nicely. We're going to let the flow extender go off. And we're going to keep our pour on there. Just like Okay. Take this down this way. Stop for a second and look at this. Let's see what's going on in here. Okay. That's pretty cool though. Alright. 
me wipe my hands because I'm having urges to point at it. <laughs> okay. So, first of all, I'm super happy that I put those lines of what was left in my cup in here because you see how it broke up that black otherwise it would have been this huge chunk of black negative space and it would have been really weird looking and I would have been trying to cover that up and change it and move it around so I'm glad that I did that I love this this is really pretty this is gorgeous this is pretty this is very pretty too I'm just not sure that I want to keep all of that I might get rid of some of this there on the corner on the bottom because I do want to open this up a little bit more that's where all that malachite is this is gorgeous though very pretty okay so we're gonna take some of that down there off I want to be careful because I'm keeping an eye on these two also I guess that one down there is my sacrificial. <laughs> but it is still really cool. I don't want to lose it. Let's see. Bring it back just a little bit this way. And now we're going to come down and let this open up in here. There's still a lot of paint on here. Hmm. I kind of want to take some of this off just because that's where most of the paint is and that's where it would be easiest to get off, but I really love what's happening. Maybe we'll take it off to about here. You see the weight of the paint as it slides down, it pushes that off the edge. There it goes. So we're going to be really careful and lower the canvas just a little bit so it goes slower. There. We're going to bring it back and open that up again. You know, I don't know if we need this because this is what I'm liking. So I think we're going to lose more of that. Because I really like what's happening up here with the metallic cobalt. So I'm just going to take the center of that ring off. See how fast the paint is moving still. We still have a lot of paint on here. Okay. That's better. And I think I'm going to take some of this off too. <laughs> We're going to end up with one ring pour. <laughs> okay, we're going to come down and open that up. off more of the gold. I want to leave this part with the turquoise. That's really, really pretty in the center. That's an interesting bird. Okay. Bring it back this way real fast so it floats back down. bring everything back down towards the middle. And open this all up. It's still moving really fast, so I'm gonna let some of this go off. Especially since this is a report, I don't want to leave a lot of paint on here. So it's moving slower now. It's still moving, but it's moving slower now. Okay, let's look at this. I 
Is that corner covered? The side. A little more. I'll fix it. Yeah, you got it. Okay. I think I want to take this down a little bit. Open some of this up up here. Metallic black is really cool. This part of me wants to take some of this off, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna leave this like this, I think. Because this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. That's very cool. This corner is really cool. I could probably lose a little bit of this. Let's see if we can't take some of that edge off. where these little weird cells are starting to come up. I'm not liking it, so. That's very cool. I see the malachite in there. I see the metallic cobalt blue. I see the gold. I see the pistachio and the silver. Cool stuff. I see the metallic black. I still have paint all over my hands, so I'm not pointing at it. And I see one drip over there. <laughs> okay, so this one is gonna stay like this, and I will show you guys one is dry. Actually, I might just take it down just a tiny bit. <laughs> I like these lines over here. They're really pretty. Open them up. Okay. That's good. Okay. All right. I really am done now. <laughs> I'll show you guys when it's dry. Thank you for watching. So this is a couple of days later now, and it's totally dry. This is the one with the malachite from folk art and the metallic cobalt blue, which is really, really pretty. There's a beautiful line in there and this gorgeous section right there. Wow. Beautiful separation of the lines and rings. I love this section right there. It's so cool. That's the metallic cobalt with a little bit of the green. I love this side with all this gold. It's just amazing. That's the turquoise there in the center, the metallic cobalt. Really, really neat. I love this part up here. Really cool stuff. Very blingy. This is that section in the center between the two sets of rings that we use the drips from the cup. See that beautiful gold line? Breaks up the black. Very, very cool. I like this one a lot. This is Malachite. This is a 24 by 36. Wait, I need to show you. <laughs> we didn't get to show you the other two while they were dry. So hang on one second and I will grab them. Okay, so this is Genie and it is completely dry right now. Not Bordeaux red, it's just amazing. <laughs> it's so pretty. Kinda got a little bit of the orange, that tangerine going on but not as much as I would have liked. So, <laughs> I don't know, I had high hopes for the tangerine, but now it's a few times it hasn't quite worked out how I hoped, so I don't know, we'll see. But this one is Genie, and it did turn out really, really cool. I love that Bordeaux red, it's just incredible. Awesome, awesome color. Okay, and this one is Cancer, the Constellation pour that we did. 
Very, very cool. This one has a lot of the same colors as the one that we poured today, or that you guys saw today. Very neat stuff. I love the center, though. Just very 3D. <laughs> kind of get lost in there. Really pretty. Beautiful lines. My darling pistachio. The metallic black. So this doesn't have any additional varnish on it. This is just the Liquitex gloss medium and varnish, or now the gloss medium, as they call it. But you see that shine. Hello, Zen. Hi, kitty kitty. <laughs> but you see all that pretty, the bling on there. So when you guys ask me, do I varnish things additionally? Not very, very often. Because using that gloss medium and varnish in the paint mix lets it dry with this beautiful sheen and luster. And the other thing that's really, really cool is that there's less glare than there is with something that's got a high gloss varnish on it. So I wanted to show you guys Genie and this one so you would see them dry. Very cool. I really like this piece a lot. It's really beautiful. Okay, let me get the other one back. Okay. So this one is malachite. It turned out really, really awesome. I'm very happy with this. Actually, that gold blinging like that is crazy. <laughs> awesome stuff. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Really do appreciate you all. Hope you enjoyed yourselves and maybe learned something. I would appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button and the notifications for all so that you get notifications when we upload a new video because sometimes you guys say you're not getting them. So it's cool. Thank you all so much. We will see you for the next one. Have a great day.